Welcome back to Trevor's Birding Tier List. Today's bird is the Wimbrel, the first shore bird I'll be talking about here, and one of the most widespread, found throughout both northern and southern hemispheres, from South Africa to Finland, and anywhere in between. During the breeding season, they are found specifically around the North Pole, breeding on poorly drained fields in tundra and taiga habitats, or any wet place with low vegetation. During the winter, they expand to just about everywhere, mainly sticking to tidal flats and other coastal habitats. The scientific name Numenius Phaeopis translates to mean new moon in reference to the long, decurved bill, and gray foot in reference to their gray feet. Their decurved bills are specifically adapted for tidal prey, with some populations having bill curves matching the curves of the burrows of fiddler crabs. When they are breeding, they will also feed on berries, flowers, and insects. Their vocal behaviors are quite interesting. Males will fly up to 300 meters in the air, then glide down in a spiral formation, giving low whistle calls on the way down until ascending back up and repeating again. These guys aren't the fanciest birds out there. They are large and cool to see, but they really aren't all that colorful. I'm gonna have to give them a B tier. As far as charisma goes, they get an easy A tier and they deserve it. I always love watching these guys and their calls are so fun to hear. Watching them forage on the beach is always a treat. That said, they get a D or tier for chasing. I'm not going to go too far out of my way to see these guys. I've only chased one once, and it was because I need it for, needed it for Missouri State. With all points added and average, this bird earns a B tier, which is pretty fair. Tune in next time for another cool bird.